And uh, so I don't want, want to invite the person who's really uh, driving the user interface to come together uh, to give you a look. Uh, so let me ask Halal Cooperman to come up and uh, give you uh, a sense of what Longhorn's all about. Morning, Halal. Good morning. Thanks, Scott. And when I log in, I want to show you the brand new uh, Longhorn desktop. Here it is. Let's open up a window. See how that comes in. A couple things are going on here. First, there's a new look. And as excited as we are about that, and we, we hope you think it's uh, exciting and, and, and beautiful and professional, uh, but it's still early. The most exciting part is that making a new look is relatively easy. Building this deep into the platform is part of the uh, platform that you get to take advantage of. That's tough, and we've been, that's what we've been working on. So if you notice, uh, things like the transparency that we have here on the windows, watch as I move this kind of under this guy on the side. You can see it in the background there. Let me open up a couple more windows. Watch how these actually animate onto the screen. Move that here. And this is using things that are part of Avalon, like Bill talked about, uh, including things like uh, pixel shaders, the desktop composition, all this advanced graphics functionality that to date has been typically in the domain of game developers, now available to actually render UI right on the desktop and, of course, in your applications. And just in case anyone is thinking that maybe this is some kind of uh, prototype or something. Let's uh, run a, a classic application. Uh, anyone remember VisiCalc? There it is. It's a uh, 20 years commitment to compatibility. <laughs> now, <laughs> and, and now we're going to see if we have 20 years commitment to usability because I'm going to figure out how to quit this thing. Forward slash S Q Y. Oh, yeah. There we go. I want to talk to you guys about the, uh, that guy on the side there. It looks, it's pretty prominent, so we should address it. Um, right now, we're calling it the sidebar. We'll figure out what the, the file name is at some point. But what's interesting about this is a couple of things. First, um, it actually builds in these common parts that show information, notifications, services that a user might really be interested in seeing when they're working on their main application without, without popping up a window that covers it. For example, uh, the time or their buddy list or a, a, a slideshow, which of course you can add and remove these tiles here, or even an RSS feed built right in to the sidebar. Anyone here blogging? Or about to blog when they get, who's going to be the first person to, after the keynote to go and post on their blog? Scoble. Okay. Well, we'll see. It's going to be a race. But the best part about this is not that we have this functionality built into Windows. The best part, like everything I'm going to show you today, is that this is part of the platform. This is essentially the evolution of my documents, but a couple of things are different. First of all, we're showing almost 1,100 items in this view, which, frankly, given today's uh, experience, it would be a little uh, not useful. Um, and in fact, these items are not sitting in one folder. They're located across the system. And this view is actually a dynamic view that's generated for you uh, right in the system and, of course, uh, available as part of the platform. So let's do a simple thing uh, that you'd think would be simple today, uh, but, but WinFS is going to provide built-in search facilities. So I have 1,100 items. I want to find all the items that have something to do with Longhorn. So as I type, I want you to watch the, the number right here, 1095, go down to 30. See how fast that happens. By the time I'm done typing, we're down from 1,100 to 30 items right there in the system. Now, built-in search capabilities, this is something you're going to expect. But let's talk about the kind of self-organization that Bill talked about in WinFS. For example, let's say we want to take these 1,100 items and organize them by a property, a property that's built into the schema. Um, so right here, we have author. Uh, we click on author. And we could actually filter down the 1,100 based on who the author is. Or we could do this new thing called stack. And when I click on stack, it's actually draw a new view that shows all these items uh, in these stacks by who wrote them. And in fact, if you look carefully at the stacks, they have different heights depending on how many items are represented in them. And because they're not physical locations, one item can show up in more than one stack. And these are not folders I went and created. This is dynamic view being built for me on the fly based on the rich, structured metadata that's sitting in WinFS on these items. So let's double click on Bill. Now, the properties that are built into the schema are 
well and good. But of course, you're going to want to add your own. And it's not just users and IT professionals, but of course, developers. They're going to go extend these schema uh, in any way they want. So let's actually add a property right now. Let's add project to our view. I click right here on project, and I can stack by project. And in fact, I can go down here and see here's all the stacks, and these five items down here aren't attached to any project. If I were to, for example, hover over the scroll bar here at the bottom, notice I get this rich thumbnail of the third page. Click on it, navigate. Click on it, navigate. Now let's open another one of these. Now here's here's another example with uh, with a document with text and video integrated. I can go do that same little thumbnail preview on the scroll bar. I click navigate to page three. Now here's the big question: If I hover over the area of the scroll bar for the second page, will I get live video in the thumbnail? Yes, yes. Let's do it. Click there. It is live video. Right there, you can see it. And let me click and go straight to the, the page of the document itself.